Hey everyone, this is Wireless Riot, and today we're doing something a bit different. I'm going to chat a bit about two games that I just wrapped up playing that I really enjoyed, and I hope you do as well. I'm going to be talking today about The Whisperer and Adios. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts about these games, make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to hear people ramble on about video games. Okay, let's start off with some horror. Friendos from my Twitch channel know me to be a huge weenie when it comes to horror games, and I absolutely made the mistake of playing this game while it was dark out. The Whisperer is a really great experience that offers no dialogue and drives home the idea that you are truly isolated in the game setting of Lower Canada. The Whisperer is a story-driven point-and-click adventure game where you are investigating an abandoned trading post and the incident that took place there. When I tell you this game is spooky without being a jump scare fest, I'm not exaggerating. I actually had to turn the sound off when the breathing was happening because it freaked me out so much. I loved that I could feel the isolation and loneliness in the wilderness. I can't imagine being the people who were staying up there. There's a deep story within the narrative, and I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm going to leave that part up to you to play and experience. The puzzles were pretty intuitive, and if I were someone who had just an ounce more of patience, I would have figured out a lot sooner than I did. I understand that the developer has actually already responded to feedback and adjusted some parts of the puzzles to make them a bit easier to figure out, and heck yes for not a lot of frustration in my puzzle games. I do love that they responded to feedback quickly and made adjustments as needed. As someone who plays a lot of games, I did figure out the controls pretty quickly, but just be warned that there is no tutorial and nothing that points you in an obvious direction. An honorable mention goes to the fact that I also appreciated the mature content description on the Steam page. I think that this is something that a lot of time doesn't get prioritized, and seeing the content warnings laid out plainly helps me make the decision on what to play on my Twitch stream and what to expect within the game without getting spoiled. The atmosphere here really makes the whole experience worthwhile. It's eerie more than scary. And I really felt the chill of the air as I trampled through the snow to figure out what the heck went on in this trading post. I absolutely cannot wait to play the full game. The Whisperer is the prelude to The Whispering Valley, which is set to come out this year. It takes about 45 minutes to play through the prelude and does a nice job of setting up the atmosphere. You can grab The Whisperer right now on Steam, and I've left a link in the description box below to give you an easy click over to experience the story for yourself. The second game I just wrapped up playing was Adios. Adios follows along in the day of a pig farmer who disposes of bodies to the mob. The weight of everything that he's done has taken its toll, and he's ready to meet his maker, aka the hitman. The hitman, however, is a close friend of yours, as you've been in business together for a very long time. The story is heavy, and there were a few times that I was near tears just listening to these two talk with each other about everything the farmer has been through. The voice acting in Adios is some of the best voice acting I've ever heard in a narrative game. It's fully voiced, and I felt like I was listening to two people who knew each other their entire lives throughout the game. The voice actors had perfect inflections and did such a wonderful job of conveying thoughts and feelings that just couldn't be spoken out loud. The fact that the game really says so much without making that dialogue obvious is what really makes me love this game as much as I do. There is a lot of unspoken words going on between the pig farmer and the hitman. They spent a very long time working together, became friends, and you can tell how it is absolutely affecting the hitman to have to do what he has to do. At the end of the day, you know what he has to do no matter what. There's a part at the end of the game where it's made extra obvious that he's not the decision maker here, as long as you're willing to hear what's been so unspoken. The pig farmer has been through a lot and made a lot of sacrifices to do what he felt would help his family, but also do what he really doesn't have a choice in doing. There is just no leaving, and that's made very obvious. There's a few lines that make it clear that this isn't the first time that the pig farmer has brought this up, 
And the hitman grows more and more frustrated that he can't talk his friend out of doing this. But the pig farmer has made up his mind, and while some dialogue options are blanked out for you during certain playthroughs, the ending is inevitable. And there's something to be said with how he finally takes control of his life and feels comfortable in the decision that he has made. He knows what's going to happen. And I was really glad that the game doesn't give you an option here. The gameplay involves you playing throughout the day, talking with your friend, and finally settling down and reflecting on everything in your life. And the gameplay, to me, really just exists to tell a story in a movie-style setting, and it's very simple. And I felt that that was the perfect balance of simplistic controls and gameplay to tell such a heavy and heart-wrenching story. I hope you're ready with tissues, friendos, because there is a lot of emotion packed into this game. Adios is available on Steam, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S. Thanks for listening to my thoughts on The Whisperer and Adios. Let me know down in the comments if you prefer these short thoughts on games versus longer videos, or if you prefer one game per video. I'm recording this at the end of 2021, but it won't go up until 2022, and I want to wish you an amazing year of happiness and healthy habits. In case you're new here, hit that subscribe button and come back to hang out. I go live on Twitch a few days a week at twitch.tv backslash wireless riot and can be found on Twitter at wireless riot as well. And if you want to chat about games, join the emo herd on Discord so we can talk about narrative games until the pigs, uh, cows, come home.